Good morning, guys. Hey, um, I'm going to share with you a dream that I had or parts of it. Um, and there's a reason why it's a timing thing, too. But I'm going to share with you some scriptures that are going along with today um, and let you guys decide. So here it is. <clears throat> this is the scripture. Amos 8, 11. <clears throat> Behold, the day comes, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but hearing of the word of God, of the Lord. This is part of the dream that I had. It was four, or yeah, five, ten. <clears throat> then, <clears throat> here's some other scriptures that go with it. Malachi 1, 6 through 14. Or 13. And then Genesis 4, 4, 4 and 3. It's all tied together, guys. But this is part of the dream. <clears throat> I'm only going to share part of it because of the depth of it. It has nothing to do with me trying to hold something secret because it's not. It's just the Lord's still adding to it. It's not done yet. <clears throat> but in this dream, <clears throat> it just happened to be governors. But it's all these different <clears throat> people in authority. <clears throat> governors, mayors, judges, clerks that you never even heard of. But because they're involved with the police force. <clears throat> spitting out stuff <clears throat> this dictator di tyrant dictatorial stuff but these governors were acting like pharaohs and that's what I saw the ancient Egyptian all that stuff <clears throat> and look around guys <clears throat> Sanctuary cities, <clears throat> disrespect for the for the federal government, <clears throat> for Congress. Everybody's got their own little kingdoms going. People are in an uproar. The world is, the church is, but Jesus isn't. Where is it all coming from? <clears throat> the devil. is trying to kill, till, steal, and destroy <clears throat> the world, God's image, the church, of course, his people. And why? Because of the sin that's within. There's going to be a famine, guys, all right? It's coming. Uh, you know what? The hamburger meat's going to be $170 a pound or whatever, you know? Your, the dollar bill's worth the same as your toilet paper. Your toilet paper is actually probably worth more now. <clears throat> the economy is not coming back, guys. Jesus is. I'm sorry to tell you that. Everybody wants to hear that. <clears throat> the blessings, you're going to get a new car, your 401k is going to be double digit, uh, everything's, you know. <clears throat> There's no other name given under the sun whereby men might be saved. It's time to weep between the porch and the altar as a world and as a nation. And it's starting at 5 a.m. That's what the Lord really, really impressed upon me. <clears throat> Here's maybe all day. You may not be able to do it. <laughs> Let's do it as often as possible. <clears throat> but when we gather together, <clears throat> because <clears throat> the answer is not coming. Through laws, government, man, through Donald Trump, through any of that, guys. It's coming by us getting a hold of him. 
and our source being God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. And so that's what I'm saying, guys. That's the direction <clears throat> that I'm telling you to go to the cross <clears throat> and through the cross. <clears throat> and the blood of the Lamb <clears throat> is going to be, His grace is going to be sufficient. <clears throat> it's going to take the manna from heaven, guys, to sustain us, guys, not this, <clears throat> not a stimulus check. And you're not going to get it. And all this theology and all this twisted up stuff that we've created. <clears throat> it's going to be in the neology and getting back to the basics of getting a hold of, of him. For your own life. <clears throat> Guys, what's he telling you? Okay. <clears throat> this is correlated to this. Really, it is. He created some vessels for honor and some for dishonor. Not everybody's going to hear it. <clears throat> Not everybody wants to hear it. <clears throat> but we're different. We're created for in his image. <clears throat> so I'm just going to break down the vessel piece a little bit into something natural, but <clears throat> yet it's in the spirit. Storage container in my garage, big one, the tub, the totes, milk can or milk jug in my refrigerator or the gas can in my storage shed. Okay, I'm not going to pour milk in my gas can and store it in the shed and pour it in my lawnmower. It's not going to work. I'm not going to take gas and pour it in my milk jug and drink it. I'm not going to store either one of them in my storage bin. I'm going to store clothes and, you know, to keep the varmints out or the rain or whatever or critters or bugs in my garage, but the milk's gonna spoil out there, the gas is gonna spoil too, so. But they're all different containers, all different vessels. But I like to drink milk, cold too. I need gas from my lawnmower because I like my lawn cut, and it has to be fresh, or the gas varnishes, and you know what that does to your lawnmowers. And I'm going to start closing the, in the storage bin outside or whatever, you know, <clears throat> things that we use. <clears throat> they all have different purposes, but I need them all. Each one of them. So, time to get on our knees, guys, and wait between the porch and the altar. <clears throat> and really, really, really get a hold of God on this one, Jesus. And get a hold of God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word, <clears throat> and not, and not, just that the blood of the Lamb is sufficient. It's time to turn, guys. Turn off the TV. Turn off the news. Turn off the world. Get off this Corona bus and get back to Him, because <clears throat> it's not coming back. <laughs> Jesus is coming back. I don't know if it's tonight, tomorrow, before this message ends. Next week, next year. You probably don't either. We all could get on a soapbox about this. I get it. We all could, and some of it could be error. That's why it's so important, guys. I'm just, my message is the same. Directing you to him. <clears throat> What's he telling you to do? <clears throat> Make a stand, all right. Stand on the word. Stand on what he's showing you. It was the very first lie of the enemy. Did God really say that? People are questioning that they're hearing from him. Why? Because the enemy is trying to deceive us, guys. And you're not going to get the vision. I, these are dollar, dollar Tree reading glasses, so I need them, okay? They're a buck, but you're going to get your real vision from the prayer, from seeking God, from listening. He wants us to listen to what the Spirit has to say into the church. These are the last, these are some more of the scriptures that go along with that. Revelations 2.11, Revelations 2.17, Revelations 2.29, Revelations 3.6, Revelations 3.13, 
Revelation 3.22. He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. What's he saying, guys? The reason why it's 5 a.m. is because there's not a lot going on at 5 a.m. And if you get up and you don't turn on your computer and your cell phone and your tablet and your news, just turn to him. Your wife might be asleep. Your husband might be asleep. Your kids might be asleep. My wife's been getting up a lot. She used to do that all the time, and I'd be asleep. But now I'm getting up, but now she gets up too. But, you know, we have our separate prayer times, and we also have our prayer time together. We start the day together in prayer. <clears throat> but we both enjoy our, our separate time too. <clears throat> Hers, she has a little special place out in the garage that she made just for herself, and now mine is in the living room. <clears throat> and it's been four in the morning. The Lord been waking me up to prepare for the five in the morning prayer. So <clears throat> what I'm saying is I'll see you there, guys. Get up with me. Turn from our wicked ways. The first piece of that prayer is humble ourselves. It's hard for Amer Americans to humble themselves. It's hard for the nation. It's hard for the world. <clears throat> we want it our way. We want the money in the bank, our checkbook to, to be to be to be full. Our 401ks, everybody's, you know, you tell people, oh, the economy's not coming back, and they're all like, you know, you're a doomsday prophet. You're just don't say nothing if it's not good. Don't say nothing if it's, man. I'm sorry, guys, you don't like some of those scriptures. Tear them out of the Bible. You'll have a holy Bible, all right? It'll be so full of holes, you won't even recognize it. It's the whole enchilada, guys. It's the whole truth. It's what God's showing you. Weep. As a nation, because we got, we're a nation, we're a nation that's deep in sin, guys. There's a lot of blood on our hands, innocent blood. Just even take the abortion issue. Guys, everybody's like, it's okay for, to just chop up a baby at nine months. You know, if it was, then why didn't CNN do an expo on it and take us into one of those rooms? And, and, and show everything. I know that's a little brutal. Gross. I'm not trying to be. It's not time. It's time to wake up, guys. It's time to wake up. Get up. Pray. Get on your knees. If you're old like me, sometimes it's a little hard. Okay, I get it. So maybe that's not, you know, but it's, you get the gist of it. I poke my head out at five in the morning and my address is 3108. Yours is different, but God said wherever two or more gather together in my name, it's time to gather together, guys. There's power in prayer. We're not going to win this by voting. I'm not saying don't vote. I'm not saying don't, you know, but we got to get rid of all these idols. The idol of money, the idol of the economy, the idol of politics, the idol of religion, the idol, all these idols, guys. That we put before God. That's why there's going to be a famine in the land. And it's not going to be for food. It already is. Look at how many people are filing bankruptcy and all this other mess. Okay, guys, I get it. Okay, that just it, it just adds to the apprehension, anxiety, and the fear. <laughs> Article on, on <clears throat> some lady threw her keys at some clerk at Walmart everybody's really frustrated and anxious and fearful and <clears throat> I get all that guys <clears throat> where is it coming from the enemy is trying to kill steal and destroy but Jesus came that we'd have life and have it that much more abundantly you want your life back turn to Jesus because it's no more games guys <clears throat> No more lukewarm lividity, no more of this surreal, <clears throat> what we claimed as Christianity. No more hogwash, guys. <clears throat> There's other preachers saying it. There's other people of God saying it. There's other, I'm not the only one. <clears throat> I'm not trying to be party of one and... <clears throat> 
even all this, where did it come from? All this essential garbage, non-essential. Who died and made them king? Honestly, there's but one king. We're all essential, guys. I don't care if you live in a, a mud house or the penthouse. I see postings all from all over the world, and some of these places don't look very nice. Floods in Kenya. There's a lot going on, guys. <clears throat> and we're not going to get it. Grabbing a, gu grabbing a gun and going to the Capitol. <clears throat> our voting, it's going to be, our, our, our votes are going to be in the prayer room, guys. At the altar. Weeping and praying for our families, our nation, our world, <clears throat> our, our governors, our presidents, our leaders. <clears throat> if they start seeing through all this mess... <clears throat> I'm going to end with this, guys. <clears throat> this was a year ago. The storm's coming to America, 8-11 to 9-11. The significance of today, what I'm saying, Amos 8-11 is when it starts. So it's not just 8-11-2020. It's the, it's the spiritual awakening and lack of the word. And us turning it over to Jesus, God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. One of my messages out there is, don't trust in your own understanding, lean out on your own understanding. And that's a, there's a lot of depth to all that, I get it. But one of the things I say in there, our understanding, we're still trying to figure out who shot JFK, and did Hillary dump 30,000 or 33,000 emails? And is Obama coming back or Hillary? Of course, they're going to try to do that. They're looking for somebody to rally around. Of course, the food shortages are going to come. Of course, companies are going under. Of course, the economy is going to implode. <clears throat> but it's, I forget the scripture, but it's in there about, I, I got one of the messages out there too about the government rests upon his shoulders. I'll have to look it up and maybe some of y'all can, but it's, the famine is for, for the lack of the word, guys, of the truth, of the gospel, the good news of the gospel. I don't care if you're the homeless guy or if you were the senior pastor with a million people in your church, not anymore, but read Matthew 17, 20, 21, and 22. All the same, stone the builder rejected. We gotta fall on the word, or the word's gonna fall on us. And he's calling us all to the wedding, but he wants us pure and clean and holy and acceptable. And the sin. That's 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 where I was heading to with this. I'm sorry, I never did get to that part. <clears throat> He didn't reject Cain's offering. He rejected the sin. We've been bringing him moldy bread, guys, as an offering. That was in Malachi. Just read him, guys. I'm not making this up. I got no skin in the game, guys. None of y'all even support me. I'm not even looking for support. If you got millions of dollars, send it. I could use all of it, but that's not where I'm not, I'm not into that. It's just me. It's a, even though I'm doing some helps ministry and some things that the Lord's telling me to do, and it's just <clears throat> the other day I was like, man, God, the, you know, we're not destitute, but it's like finances are getting a little thin, God. I got this much to do, this much with, and it's just it's not. The math isn't there. And then I get a phone call and I checks on the way. It's at least expected, unexpected, and it was a pretty good sized check, guys. I'm not in it for this I'm not in it for the money, guys. I'm not in it for your offering. I'm not in it for you to to 
to help our ministry. I'm telling you, I'm in it to get you back directed to him and the cross and the blood of the lamb and our trust in him. All of us, including me. I have to pray for my family every day. My kids, my, my wife, myself, grandkids, the work, you know, so what's he telling you to do, guys? You may be single, you may not. <clears throat> you may have gone through a bitter, ugly divorce. A lot of hurt there. Bring it to him. Whatever it is, guys. I'm not talking about coming with your laundry list of everything we need. The world, man, the world, look around. The world needs everything, guys. What we really need is him and his guides and his direction and his truth. And you're not going to get it with CNN blasted up your face and the, the newspaper and the whatever or the time I get, or, or any of that stuff. You're going to get it through the word and through your prayer and through dedication and through seeking him. And that's why the 5 a.m. is so important because there's not much going on at 5 in the morning. You're just barely getting up and having a cup of coffee. He wants your availability to walk with him in the cool of the day. Let's start with that as often as you can, guys. I get it. You may not be able to, and sometimes physically or in, the impossibilities of it, or if you're working nights or, you know, there's different things, okay? I, I understand that, so it's not like a pressure. The urgency of it is, is that we need to get a hold of him. <clears throat> so love you guys um, a lot. And so does Jesus, and so does God, and so does the Holy Ghost, and so does his word. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. I do that. I, that's just me. I'm doing that all the time now, guys. It's like, man, God, I'm just going to be obedient. <clears throat> I learned this a few years back. <clears throat> I learned it throughout the years. But <clears throat> it's like, okay, God. I'm not doing it blindly either. <clears throat> I do question him. I do ask him. I do bring it before him. I do present it before him all the time. Show me, Jesus. Help me, God. Mold me, shape me. If it's me in the way, is it my flesh? Do I need to die out? What do I need to see in this, God? Help me, God. Let me understand, God. Let my mind be washed with the water of the word. <clears throat> We're not going to get... this back guys till we get to the cross and humble ourselves and repent and turn from our wicked ways our offerings polluted guys it's time for purging cleansing washing of the water of the word get rid of this stuff empty ourselves and let him move <clears throat> love you guys um it is good news honestly but we love you guys <clears throat>